our two vehicles. And the tent, of course, you of course need a, a vehicle for the tent. It doesn't really work well with a motorcycle, I think. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Swire Russia. Today, we're, of course, going to take a look at the tent from RBM Outdoors. It's called Koala 7. It is a super awesome tent. I've been checking it out or testing it out for like more one and a half months. I've been in the wilderness with it. I've been using it in the garden with friends and family and so on. And of course, we're going to take a look at some of the footage from uh, from my experience with this tent here. It's an, uh, been a learning experience for me because I never used this tent before. So I divided the video up into some uh, chapters. But I would advise you to, to watch the entire video so you will get the full information about the tent. There's be links in the description to a company called RBM Outdoors, they ship worldwide, of course. So uh, without further ado, let's just take a look at the, the video, let's take a look at the tent and in the end here, and there's going to be like a conclusion of my experiences and uh, this and that with the tent. So let's get on with it guys. I just came across some uh, very very large bear tracks. This is a big guy, this is a front pole, you can see. So in the big box we had this bag, in the small box we have another bag and an orange uh, thingy here which is uh, most likely a repair kit. Seems like pretty good quality, bag, very nice, sturdy. I have absolutely no idea how this uh, tent here works, how to set it or anything. So this is going to be a good test. To see, uh, we have some instructions here, I'll show you later, but uh, it's going to be a good test to see uh, how it works, how simple it is to work with, even for a uh, retard like me. So in the small bag with the repair kit we uh, have the pump and uh, something else and some uh, tent pegs and so on. So that's what in the small bag. We had some very heavy thunderstorms. <laughs> All these dead flies, they bite really, really badly. There's only a little tiny bit of water here because it's only been standing with the mosquito screen. Excuse me the audio if it's not super awesome. But you cannot feel any water through the fabric here. <coughs> There's no water on the floor here. All right, guys, so it's time to take down the tent. We're gonna take it for some real deep forest camping. And uh, it's been standing here for plus one week and the tent have not been leaking or anything like that. No rain inside the tent or anything. So it, uh, it can uh, uphold pretty serious rain, but it has a rain cover uh, in case uh, that is needed. 
So uh, we're gonna take down the tent now, gonna show you how to take it down. And uh, next time we see the tent, we're gonna see the tent out in the deep forest. Uh, and we're gonna be a lot of people there. So we're gonna see how it performs as a, as a camping tent as well. So let's do that. There's a valve here and there's a valve down in the other corner. Let's get inside fastly. Dig, 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 dig. Over here we have a safety valve which uh, lets air out if there's too much air in it. We have another thingy where we can <coughs> let air out of the tent. But uh, we of course gonna do that uh, on the outside. But anyway, that's an emergency deflation valve. So the first layer of this valve here is for pumping it of course. So we're gonna open up the second layer. So let's see how this uh, tent here packs down. All I remember is that uh, it was folded over once on the length of the tent. So let's try that and then I'll show you a little tip anyway or what you can say that I use when I work like that. And uh, what I normally do with tents, which I'm not really familiar with, is that I just lay down the whatever bag or whatever we have and see if it uh, actually fits the, the dimensions of the bag and it seems to be like that. So I would duck that. Yeah, it should fit nicely. Like this, we'll find out. Good luck. Get this now. Alright guys, here we are on the second day of our wilderness camping, comfy wilderness camping, feeding the mosquitoes and so on with the Koala 7 from RBM Outdoors. So this has uh, been its, uh, its real test you can say because we had some serious thunderstorms. And we didn't even use the rain fly and we had no water in the tent, no leakage whatsoever. At the moment we have uh, this side here closed off because uh, that was where the rain came from, <laughs> mostly. This is the rear part of the tent of course, window screen. And uh, when we are rolling up these guys here, don't roll them up the other way around like this because then all the water is going to run in between these layers here. If you roll it up like this then rain only going to collect out here on the first layer. We opened the, the windows there. We of course have uh, mosquito netting and so on and you can do it in uh, several different ways if you want to. One, so just for as an example, just put two poles there and this can of course, uh, is of course a little bit higher up. This one is just made straight with the guy lines. The small window covers, they're pretty awesome because you can collect water from them, which we did yesterday. So we had some uh, clean water, which uh, was not need to be boiled. So here we have the, the entrance party. This whole part you can actually unzip, so it's just completely open. But we've been sleeping four adults in there and three kids and a fifth adult in here. 
Of course, looks a little dark in here, but uh, we can open if we wanted to. We could uh, unzip these guys here, not unzip, but release the, the toggles. We we'll get much more light. The pylons here, tubes, they are nice and hard. Everybody have been super happy about it. You can stand up and of course a stove jack if, it's not, if that is needed. These guys bite hard. We only tied the, the tent down in the four corners and uh, just one guy line there, a guy line over there. I really like this system here with the guy lines. It's pretty clever made actually. We had some pretty serious winds, but of course in the forest it's not that uh, it's not that critical. But we have a big open space out here, of course, where the wind was coming in. And we're about 14-15 kilometers into the deep wild forest. We did some wilderness fishing yesterday. There are just tracks from bear, moose, beavers, of course. We have hundreds of them around here. It's crazy. 3.40 in the morning, going for some fishing. And there were some pretty big bears here as well. But uh, I just came across some uh, very, very large bear tracks. This is a big guy. This is a front pole, you can see. So we are indeed wilderness camping with this Koala 7 tent. Super awesome, super awesome. No problems with it whatsoever. As we found out, the tent is also relatively forgiving with the, with the ground not being 100% level and so on. That's why you can see up there it's sagging a little bit. That's because this end there is much higher than this end there. Ground is not even at all, but it's not a problem. Ventilation up here, this part here has some uh, foam sewn into it. Pretty nice. So, the last part of the video here is going to be sort of like a conclusion about the tent, my experiences with it and uh, things I have not uh, updated you on. Uh, on, on the earlier stages in the video because uh, this tent was also pretty new to me. So I found a lot, a lot of interesting stuff about the tent. In the beginning of the video I mentioned uh, that there was a, a rain fly and some other stuff. And this other stuff we have laying in here. As you can see, we have some uh, screens. That means that if we are in a heavy rain, we don't need the mosquito screens and stuff like that. Then we can replace the whole front with this guy here. Another awesome thing about it is that you can just remove this whole front and not use the, the rain cover or what we can call it and simply just use this part here of the tent as a front porch and as I said we've been sleeping here uh, four adults and three four kids I don't really remember but there's a lot of space in here. There are four screens, small screens for the four windows which means that uh, it's going to be a little bit warmer because uh, one guy was sleeping there alone in this room there. Yes, this tent has rooms. <laughs> and uh, he was saying it was a little bit cold in the night because uh, the, the, the wind was blowing a little bit through the mosquito net. So uh, it can be replaced with, uh, not replaced, but we can add it. We can add this guy here, right? Because we have a separate uh, zipper. So we don't need to take these off actually. Just put this green on. That's really, really awesome. That is actually pretty darn awesome. For a tent, we have a lot of light here, of course, because uh, as I also said, we can open these guys. We have opened them. It's awesome. One thing about this uh, overpressure valve here, it is, of course, that if we are using a stove, we have a stove jack, right? Then, of course, the air will expand in the pylons here. And if it gets so warm, what we can say, that uh, there's going to be overpressure in the pylons, then this uh, 
valve down there is going to let the air out so they will not uh, crack or explode and, and, uh, and that the seams will not be uh, exposed to too much pressure. This is our tent packs. We have a full set of those, of course. The tent here is just awesome for wilderness camping. The fabric here holds up to rain very nicely, but of course, good idea to put on the, the rain fly because we have it right if need be. What am I, 180, 180 centimeters? There's just so much room in here. You, you, you can easily be like six, seven adults, no problem. No problem. Chairs, table and whatnot. Of course, if you're going to use uh, folding uh, bunks or folding beds, it's a little bit of a different matter, of course, and we'll have, have room for less people. Let me say it like this. But to be able to use this part here as a front porch, basically, that is just super awesome. The floor here, 100% waterproof, of course. Another thing that we can unzip this center part here and just have one big room, that is also super awesome. The tent is, uh, I mean, honestly, it is just one of the most awesome tents I have uh, tried. I mean, this is a real home away from home. So one little quick advice I can give you when uh, packing down the tent is leave the valve open and roll up the tent from that end to that end. So you're not trapping air in the inside of it. But the bag for the tent is uh, really large and uh, forgiving. So even if you're not folding it up the, ideally it, it, will, it will fit in the bag but keep the valve open there so that's basically it for this tent video here it is truly an amazing and awesome tent that is i can say hands down so if it's something for you check the links in the description and uh, get to rvm outdoors they're awesome guys and they will uh, help you they have different models and uh, all that good stuff they ship worldwide of course so uh, that's it guys, check the links in the description, please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff and until next time, get out on the train, get it done, do something awesome and see you in the next video. Thank you very much for your time.